Hi, my name is Grzegorz Kosakowski. I'm a main developer behind Scalagwit project and I will show you today a few things I've been working on during last week. So let's go to Scalagwit website and let's check samples. We will focus today on showcase sample. Showcase sample is uh, basically a simple uh, application which shows you how to use various widgets. So for example, you have some basic buttons that you can click. They display messages. We can check a uh, source code. The stuff you can see that um, it's all written in Scala. So you may wonder how you one can develop applications uh, like that. So we will use Eclipse. So let's start the same sample uh, using Eclipse. Mm. Quid gives Quid tools gives us a special URL we load into our browser. It takes a while to load the application because Quid is basically emulating many things on the fly. So it takes a while to start it. And you should know that this is more than 4,000 lines of Scala code. So it's pretty heavyweight. Okay, so we see the same application running in our browser. So we can go here and we see those buttons. So let's say we would like to add uh, yet another button here. So let's go back to Eclipse. Let's open the new basic button file, which contains the source code for the view we, we saw. So let's say we will create a new another button. Now we would like to set a handler for this button. So we say we since we are developing in Scala, we can use uh, Lambda for that. So, yes, we will display another message like it works. Mm, we click save in Eclipse. We go back to uh, our browser. We hit reload and we have to wait a second for Quit to reassemble our application. It doesn't start from scratch, so it should be faster. But as I said, it's a heavyweight application, so it takes a while. Now, oh, so we don't see our button because we yeah, actually have made a mistake here. I forgot to add uh, our button, so let me correct this quickly. And uh, hit save. I reload again. Sorry for that. Now we see our button. So we click, it works, that's nice. I will show you that we can do a more fancy stuff. We can use our Scala collections. So let's say we create a collection of consisting of a few numbers. We will make a string out of this um, collection and we'll display the string. So let's hit reload again in a browser. So we click again. We see our numbers, so all this stuff works. It's really nice. So yeah, we've got a, a bit more complicated event handler. So what about debugging? So let's terminate our application. We would like to put a breakpoint, for example, here and start a debugger. So let's try it. We go back to our browser, now it says that the disconnect is expected because we restarted quit tools. We will have to wait again for a while to reload it from scratch.
so we see our button and we uh, click and we've got uh, we are in a in a debugger we can see our list here if we step through we see our string if we continue we are back in a browser and uh, it works if I remove a breakpoint from here and go here and click it just works so that's about it uh, you should know that this is a really preview version of a, a Scala GUID tooling for Eclipse so it's you cannot install it yet it's simply the stuff I did last week thanks for attention